What's up guys, Austin here, and as promised, today I'm bringing you guys some recap from Sony's E3 conference. Now, just like Microsoft's press conference, a ton of new games were announced, but Sony actually announced some new hardware as well. So uh, with that, let's jump right into it. So I'm not sure if it was just me, but I actually found myself falling asleep at some parts. I'm not sure if it was because I was tired from editing or because the press conference is actually boring, but they actually unveiled a ton of stuff. And the first thing that they unveiled was Destiny. Now this was actually announced at last year's E3, but they finally gave us a date for at least the open beta, and that's gonna be coming to us next month on July 17th. And in terms of Destiny, they actually introduced an exclusive white PlayStation bundle that comes with a white PS4, a white controller, and a copy of Destiny along with a 30-day voucher for PlayStation, and this will be releasing on September 9th. Now another big announcement was Little Big Planet 3. We were able to see a live demo of the game being played, and they did introduce three brand new characters that you'll be able to play as, but other than that, it's still the same core Little Big Planet experience, the same stunning visuals that we've come to expect, and the same core mechanics of the gameplay, except of course it is on PS4. And, and we also saw another look at Far Cry 4, and I say another look because it was unveiled in the developer's press conference, Ubisoft's press conference and just like many of the other games were introduced to a new co-op mode and that really seems to be the theme of this three this e3 press conference just uh being able to play together on a bunch of these games that were just used to be a uh, solely sole player game just like we saw assassin's creed far cry 4 so definitely seems to be a theme at this e3 but i gotta mention they did unveil a very very cool feature that's going to be exclusive for playstation 3 and playstation 4 users uh, I did mention a co-op mode, but you can actually play with people who don't even have the game. So you don't even have to have the game to play with one of your buddies on your friends list. You can just pop right into the game and you don't even have to own the game yourself. And I think that is a pretty sick feature. And again, it's only exclusive to the PS3 and the PS4. We also got a look at Dead Island 2 for the PS4 and Battlefield Hardline. And I've got to say just now that there was no way that they were playing that game live because no one lasts that long while they're actually playing Battlefield. But anyways, we're going to be seeing betas for both of these games uh, right before their respective releases. So be on the lookout for that if you are a PS4 user. Now, moving back into hardware, uh, two things here, Project Morpheus and PlayStation TV. Now, unfortunately, they didn't really show any new features or gameplay footage from Project Morpheus. But they did mention that the PlayStation 4 camera is what is... Uh, in charge of doing the motion tracking for the device and just the fact that they mentioned it uh, shows us that we're going to be seeing a release date uh, sometime maybe not in the near future but probably by 2015 we'll be seeing an actual release date of Project Morpheus. Also uh, PlayStation TV. So Sony made the announcement at last year's E3 of PlayStation Now, their new streaming service, and now you're going to be able to stream over 1,000 PS3 and Vita titles straight at launch uh, for the PlayStation TV at just $99. Now all you need for this to work is the PlayStation TV, a, a TV of course, and a DualShock 3 controller. And if you don't already have one, they're going to have a bundle for $140 that includes the PlayStation TV, a DualShock 3 controller, and a voucher for the new Legos game. So you're going to get all that in a bundle for $140. I'll probably pick one up for review, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll see how that streaming service works for PlayStation TV. Now wrapping up the press event, we're finally able to see some actual gameplay footage from Mortal Kombat 10, so that was pretty nice to see. They also introduced a ton of new games at the end, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, a remastered version of Last of Us for PS4, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4, and finally Uncharted 4 a thief's end so a very very packed presentation from sony again i don't know if it was just me but it was really long uh but tons of new stuff announced anyways let me know your thoughts uh once again what games are you excited for did this stack up to microsoft press conference uh, let me know in the comments down below anyways if you guys like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button as always subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna be bringing you guys a uh, another highlight reel of uh, this time of Nintendo's press conference. Hopefully, we'll see something exciting from there. We're definitely going to be seeing some, um, definitely some Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and 3DS. Some updates from that game. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.